Hi, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and um, Victoria's Moon. Um, now, a lot of us... How's the best way to put it? There's a lot of YouTubers that were contacted to do a review for this company. Um, and with that, I know that when I was contacted by Elvina, like everybody else, um, one of the things she asked was to us to recommend other YouTubers. So, um, you know, the reason why so many of the smaller YouTubers um, were contacted because other smaller YouTubers went, I watch this person, I watch this person, I watch this person, um, and to do to do reviews. So that's why there were so many out in the community. But I will say this: that with all the Victoria Moon stuff out there, I don't believe I saw the same painting twice, which is excellent. It shows how big their range is. Um, so in saying that, you know, people were getting, oh, you know, I'm doing another Victoria's Moon unboxing. Um, I actually, um, what's the best way to put it? I couldn't believe that people were actually saying that. Um, because, based on the fact that we're all unboxing different diamond paintings. We are all um, getting our own different experience and actually able to give our feedback back to the company to say, this is what we don't like, this is what we do like. Hey, watch your packaging, it comes up. For some people it was shit, straight up shit. And others it came out perfect. Mine, I had no issue with my packaging. So obviously when they all left the company, they were in good condition and it was in between the company and your front door or your poster box that the damage was done. So the only recommendation to Albina is better packaging, yes. Um, like other companies that say they've got no control over their freight companies, true, true, true. Um, I've had one company say it's not my fault, it took 25 days. So this is a different matter. Um, well, I mean, it's the same thing. I had no issues with freight with this one, yet I've had issues with freight with others. Um, so, yeah, that's one side of it. Yes, it's another Victoria's Moon. It's a completed Victoria's Moon, um, which, yeah, I've got nothing coming off. So let's get down to the true fact of the matter is there's two things you want to look at when reviewing um product like this one is the service or the company and what they provide and how they provide it and one is actually the product and the final result and what I can say for the final result I am wrapped <laughs> Hang on. in my rush last night I said there's a couple that I didn't put in properly so I finished this last night and super, super, super happy with it. Um, I will turn this over so you can have a look at the back. Um, I work top to bottom on my diamond paintings, which means the bottom of my paintings um, get creased. I have spilt stuff on it. It hasn't affected the glue. I've got a really good coffee stain, which is rather interesting. I had a massive coffee spill here <laughs> and that colour went through to the other side. Glue still sticking. Um, one thing, you know, like there's a two different covers, two different types that you get. Um, one is a European style, which is a double sided tape, double sided adhesive. The other, I'm actually not what they call it, but that is the poured glue. Um, the difference between the two for me, the double adhesive is so much stronger. The poured glue, it slips and slides around. Um, it all depends on how you feel. But um, when you look at the back of the canvas, there's some little bit of ridging. 
that is all good from me, from um, <laughs> the way I lean on it, because if I lean on mine, and this, this area here gets crunched up. Um, and I lean on. When you see the fact that this is, I put this kind of stuff on the wall, and you see the bottom section of that diamond painting is crunched up. I mean, it's not as bad as it was, but that's crunched up and rolled. Um, that's part way through. So there's no issue with that because these drills come off and some square diamond paintings, doing that, you get pop popping up drills. Even doing something that it's like, don't do it, which is turning it inside out. This one, okay, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to do it. Normally when you roll a canvas in like this, with a square, go on, clarify. With a square diamond painting, if you did that, you generally are guaranteed to pop drills. There we go. Um, absolutely no popping drills. How's that? Um, I have, I haven't even rolled it, as in, I've got my roller here. I haven't rolled it. Yes, I have used my brush over it to see if I can flick stuff up. So, end result, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I can actually... I can do a couple of different things with this and I've got a I've got a thought but I'm gonna it's something although it's not different it is different to just putting it on a frame and I have seen others do it um, so watch this space if I don't end up doing my my initial I'm gonna be doing a test on something and if that works I'll do it to this um, but if I was to frame this, I could just possibly um, put this on a board and wrap it around and frame it just as it is without anything behind it, without anything over top of it. These drills are not going anywhere. Little corner. This is the last section I did, so <laughs> on my bottom corners are always like this. Okay. Um, so the end result is a diamond painting that I love and I've got no issue with at all. I'm going to pause you there for a sec because I forgot to grab, grab the uh, leftover drills. Ta-da! Leftover drills. Yeah, I forgot to grab... Oh, I should have grabbed my um, big tray. Okay, so I've just grabbed a tray. What I'm going to show you is, okay, guess what? This is my trash drill. Start out with that. Can you see them down there? Massive pile. This is my trash that I pulled out. Okay, I had some rounds. I had something really long and skinny there. <laughs> um, my The blacks there, although they're not the blacks, they're the 939s, they were bigger. They were just too big. They weren't, they were a little bit squashed, but they were just not too bad, but they were too big. What you can see next to this little round one, though, is a little concave bit on the blue. So this is 820. So 820... I had a lot that had that curve, but it hasn't affected the picture. So, 820. Let's get a clear tray. I have a clear tray, but I'll put this one there. Not that I need to keep those trash drills anymore. Oops, whoops. <laughs> Definitely not keeping those trash drills anymore. They've already flown. Right, so basically you've seen the trash drills, the drills I had issues with, so I just had a little bit of plastic left up there, 
Okay. Hmm. Hitchhiker, that's my doing. <laughs> I know that one is my doing. <laughs> I did just have another bit of trash in there. Uh, tweezers. Oh, I can't see well this morning. A bit tired. Okay. <laughs> There's a bit of trash. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Let's see if I can spot some before I bring it up to you. Okay. I'm actually standing up to bring the camera up. And there we go. Sorry, I'm just scanning over. Okay, there we go. To show you. Uh, I lost it. No, there we go. All right. Let's see what happens. Um, and it's only taking the camera for me to try and find it. Right there. See that little concave bit there on the side? I had quite a few like that. But they didn't affect... The painting. If it had, if there was knobbly bits on the outside, it would have been an issue. Actually, um, there we go. There you can see it there, that one there. So that was the eight twenties. They were the ones. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I actually have a headache today, and the dog is not helping me. Bo, are you going to go outside or you sit down? Go sit on your bed. Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Get the cat! That's not our cat, I'm telling you. Get, we get a neighbour's cat that um, torments ours. So. Um, so basically there was, <coughs> that was my, the 820s were my horrors. Um, but what have we got that I had the least of? Well, the 772, I'll turn that upside down, although it's not clear. Um, I didn't have much surplus, but then I probably only put about 15 or 20 of those in the, in the painting itself. I had plenty left over. That I never had, I didn't have even a thought that I was going to run out. Um, normally you get down to the, well for me it's down here, you guys might be a top section, but down here, I get there going, oh, you know, it's close, you know, how am I going to have enough? I never had that thought with this. So there was plenty of drills, I mean, probably partly because there was no rubbish in there that I had to worry about, I might have plenty of drills. Um, when it is, when the paintings are done in bags which actually that was one of my issues I did have issues yes I did have issues with this um, <clears throat> when they're done in bags they're by weight and you have um, basically it's it, it is by weight and there is a standard weight for each, each drill um, but when you have um, Best way to explain it when you go, like if a company provides 30% more drills, in a nutshell, it means if you um, need 100 drills, you should have 30 left over. Which is where if you've got 1,000 drills, you should have, what, 300 left over. So it's all in ratio. Um, remembering when 30, 30%, if you only need five drills, what do you need? What do you get? One and a half, two drills left over? Spare. So that's where I would definitely say that these guys, quantity-wise, provided 30% extra. Um, yeah, so that's that side of it. I haven't put these into bags purely because I'm going to put, if I haven't got these in my storage, all I need to do is to pop the tray in, pop the storage, put these into storage just like that. Um, <clears throat> but these are good quality drills and all I need to do is just some colour matching to make sure the match the batches look pretty close. Um, but yeah, the quality of the drills were fantastic. Only a little bit of um, 
the trash. And for a square, for me to do only so little in the way of trash, that's pretty impressive. I um, was putting the review together for this um, because there's a couple of times when I stopped and I put it together and I was watching it and I saw a lot of videos skipping. So I thought what I'd do is I'd just stop and do uh, give you the first bit where you really do see um, the quality of the drills and all of that. Um, and then just do the final bit of a review on this um, now and add it in. So I would definitely recommend these guys. These guys are worth it. Um, I would purchase from them. Um, just so you are aware, I would purchase from them. I have been contacted by Elvina to find out how um, I was going with it. And I told her I'd get the review done and you know, I was nearly done. So I am done now. She's all complete, as I've shown you. Um, but the things that I suggested to her, um, which were pretty important to me, is the symbols on the side. They're actually under the glue, under the double stamp adhesive. Um, and that makes it a struggle to create your labels. So whether you are taking a picture or you're putting it on a photocopier, um, to be able to create labels is pretty hard. Um, so suggestion is an inventory sheet. Um, and that inventory sheet needs to be in colour. Um, diamonds, the bag, diamonds being bagged up, the drills being bagged up, fantastic. They're bagged by weight. Um, just need stronger bags. Those bags were ripping apart when I was opening them and closing them, so I had to end up putting them in containers, um, which I could only put DMC codes on because I can't draw those labels. Um, anyway, so that's that side of it. The opaque cover was done with one small section and one large section. Um, better off turning around and doing two medium sized sections um, instead of just because it was actually two different types of glue as well. Um, what else did I send her? The square, the wax square, it was tiny. For a picture this, this big, it should have been bigger. Um, packaging, packaging was no issue for me. Um, mine arrived in perfect condition. Um, there's two ways to improve packaging or to prevent the delivery companies from causing the damage that they have on others and one is a box inside of a box or a tube. And I love the tubes, the tubes are brilliant. Um, so yeah, I have completed this, I would recommend them. Love it. I've got no popping drills. Um, you know, I've moved this around quite a lot. There's my coffee stain. I spilled my coffee. Yeah. Um, that was a dumb pain in pen. The, I did get contacted back. Um, so I sent her that email with all that information. And she goes, thank you so much for the suggestion. We'll take them into consideration. In fact, by now we've heard of many good suggestions like yours. We're taking actions to do some improvements. Once you do the final video, please send me the link and the second order information as well so we can prepare and ship it to you soon. One thing you need to let one thing I need to let you know that the width of the second kit should be less than 55 centimeters. So just for safe and fast shipping. So they're pretty well sure they're pretty sure that anything under 55 is going to arrive quicker and not going to be banged around. So um, that seems to be a consensus that they must have found a um, magic number. Um, so yeah, they just want us to keep the width of the canvas less than 55 centimetres. I'm going to see if I can push my luck and I'm going to try for a five panel. I've done two five panels already, they look really good. So I'm going to try for another five, I'm going to try for a five panel and those five panels I think they're about Uh, 30 pound, they're all, okay, it's 40, your, your 30 panels are either a 20 by whatever, 30 by whatever, or a 40 by whatever. So, so I'm going to try and get a, um, a, a, see if I can get a five panel, because that keeps the width of the diamond panel still narrow. Um, 
but would I, I would re recommend these guys, definitely would recommend these guys, I'll buy from, from them. Um, the next one I get, I will do rounds, um, rounds are quicker, <laughs> rounds are much quicker <laughs> after doing rounds the way I've been doing rounds. Um, but yeah, really happy with these guys. This is going to look gorgeous framed up just in a simple black black frame or just in itself. I'm not going to need to put glass on it, so I'd probably frame it, edge it over a board and um, pin it that way with least least expense possible for putting this one up. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you like this. Um, I hope the fact that I had to cut... Um, the oh, oh, while I was doing putting the video together and putting my starts and ends, I was watching it and I went, oh god, that's the video footage was pausing and that. So hopefully when it renders, it's, it doesn't. But it didn't. I wasn't happy with it, so that's why I've added this bit on the end. The beginning bit I couldn't pull out because it's I've already packed my jewels away. I've put my leftovers in storage, so I can't exactly go over that again. Um, so yeah. Give us a, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, leave us a comment, um, subscribe, and yeah, hit the bell. You'll get notified of any more uploads as they come through. And um, Alvina, I will say this: thank you for giving me the opportunity, and thank you for giving a variety of YouTubers the opportunity to give you give you feedback on what we do and don't like about diamond painting. So, yeah, thanks very much, very much, guys. Bye for now.